In this step of the series, I explain the steps for writing the detailed description section of the patent application. You can find a sample detailed description of the tripod invention we are working through in the link I put in the description below. The detailed description is written by using your outline as a checklist of items to be discussed in the application. That's the first point I want to make. Another point is to sound natural. Don't sound like an attorney. I'm not sure how it happens, but when people start to write a patent application, they start to think too much. Just describe your invention in plain English. Don't use vague language. That does nothing to help convey what your invention is. All it does is confuses people. Don't call a tripod an apparatus for supporting an image collection device. That's really weird. Just call it a tripod for supporting a camera. That sounds much better and it's more understandable. Now to the organization of the detailed description. How do we explain all of the items in your outline in an orderly fashion so that it's easily digestible and understandable? There are three different ways to organize the content. First, you can use the claims as a roadmap to explain your invention. Now, the claims are supposed to include the point of novelty of your invention, the key difference between your invention and the prior art. As such, if you explain each word in the claim, you would have described the claimed invention. For the beginner, this isn't very helpful because the claim set you drafted may not be good enough to support such writing style. However, this is the classical way the patent attorneys are initially trained to write a patent application. Actually, many patent attorneys still draft their patent application this way. By writing a patent application in this style, you automatically satisfy the written description and enablement requirements. Second, you can use the drawings to organize the detailed description. The patent rules require the drawings to show each aspect recited in the claims. If you've done a good job with the drawings, you should have shown every aspect of what you are claiming as your invention. As such, if you describe every aspect of the drawings, you should be describing all aspects of the invention. Third, you can describe each benefit and the structure associated with achieving such benefit. This style of writing is harder to get used to, but it makes the detailed description much more like you're telling a story. Whichever style you use, you should be reviewing your outline. Whenever you are discussing a part or benefit, look at your outline to see if you need to mention other things. This way, all of the items in the outline will eventually make it into the detailed description. Try out the three different styles and see which one fits you best. Next, you have to include numbers in the written portion of the application, which refer to the numbered parts in the drawing. For example, whenever you say camera, you can associate a number with it, say 10. The camera will be referred to as camera 10 in the detailed description. You would also mark the camera shown in the drawings as 10. You can use a lead line, an arrow, or a bracket to indicate that the number 10 refers to the camera. To see how this works, you can download a sample detailed description and drawing for the tripod example we've been using in this series by clicking on the link in the description below. Click on the next video to learn more about writing the brief summary section of the patent application. I also put a link in the description below to resources to help you with this step.